All right, next up we've got something called show values as, and this is one of the single most powerful and important capabilities that pivot tables have to offer. So take notes, pay attention, this is really important stuff. You'll find the show values as menu right beneath the summarize values by options that we just talked about. Basically what show values as options do is they allow you to provide additional layers of calculations that change the way you view the numbers based on your pivot table view. So it's important to distinguish this from the summarize values options that we just talked about. So think of it this way. Summarize actually determines how the actual core numbers are calculated as they're aggregated. So as a sum, a count, an average, a min, a max. By contrast, the show values as options allow you to look at those numbers and display those numbers through all sorts of different lenses to add more insight. So in this case here, in the screenshot we're looking at, we've got a metric called order quantity. But instead of looking at the actual quantity or number of orders for each row, we're viewing that metric as the percent of the column total rather than just the whole numbers. So that's just one example. You've got tons of other choices here. You can calculate the difference from running totals, ranks, index values, etc. So in this slide, I lay out a few examples and this is a really nice way to just demonstrate how the same metric, in this case revenue, can be displayed six different ways to reveal all sorts of different insights that you can't get with the raw numbers alone. So to set the stage a bit, we're looking at ticket sales or ticket revenues by genre, by year, over a four year period. And our first revenue column there is kind of the default, no calculation column. So that's just the total sum of revenue for each of those years and genres. But as we move to the right, we'll see five additional iterations of that revenue field, each with a different show values as calculation applied to it. So the second column is the percent of the total column, and that gives you a really great sense of composition and relative share by year and by genre. So at a glance, I can tell that action movies as a whole drove 58% of the total revenue over this four year period. I can also tell that action movies in 2012 specifically drove 14.74% of the revenue in the sample. And then similar cut of the data using a calculation called percent of parent, where genre is the parent, this puts a slightly different spin on it so that you can see the relative composition of revenue by year within each genre. So for adventure films, for instance, I can easily see that 2013 drove the largest share at just under 30%, and 2011 was a relatively slow year, only driving 14.51%. Then you've got other options like the percent difference from, which is a perfect way to look at year-over-year uh, -year percent changes without doing any manual calculations on your own. You can look at running totals each year. You can add rank values, which will assign a ranking either large to small or small to large based on certain values. So I'm going to dive into a bunch of these different calculations with actual hands-on demos. But for now, just keep in mind that these show values as options are incredibly valuable tools for unlocking hidden insights within your data.